Good morning, tank chums. It's... Oh, the IS-3. Oh. Well, I said to myself I was going to play some bigger tanks, and the IS-3 is one of those slightly bigger tanks that I actually own. It's Tier 8 Russian Heavy. I don't have... I think there's like a Tier 9 gun for it, which I don't have yet, and it is a very expensive gun to get, like 55,000 experience points. Which is part of the problem with playing, I think, higher tier tanks is... Oh, well. I mean, every tank obviously goes, you don't start with the best equipment. But more often than not, it's going, it feels like it's going to take a lot longer to get that good equipment for a higher tier tank. So even though, you know, you might be at the top of the tier, like I am here, which is, you know, good. I don't have the best equipment and it's going to take me a very long time to get there. And my free experience is sort of, it's going to say, pigeonholed for some other stuff. But, I like the IS-3. It's got a funny kind of pike-nosed front. It's got a sort of upturned bowl for a turret. It's, it's an okay tank, really. I don't really mind it. It's supposed to be, apparently, a very good tank, but I have, <clears throat> unsurprisingly enough, not had much luck with it, and I think it's probably down to a lack of practice. But the other problem is, I think it's because I don't like, I suppose, letting the team down is the best way to describe it. I really hate that feeling of the team are relying on me for a large amount of damage, and it's a role that if I can't fulfill it, the team is in a lot of trouble. I like being the plucky underdog, weirdly, just because... Well, oh, maybe I should have taken that shot. Just worried about it. It's a big gun, though. A lot of noise. I like it. Well, we've got a lot of people here. Come on, gunners. No, you can do better than that. That's it. That's not good. That's still not good. Alright. It's really not good. Careful, Stone Emil. There is something over there shooting at people. Oh, Christ. Yeah, I, I jolly well not over here. But there's not a huge amount that I feel quite capable of doing. Oh, come on, gun. Right, that is it. Screw this. Doing it live. Let's pretend we're a medium. A medium with a really inaccurate gun. I mean, all those guys are pretty softened up. I just haven't landed a hit yet, which is a little alarming. There we go, I hit something. Oh yeah, the angling on the side is weird. Dang damn it, now I'm way up on my own eye. Yep, of course I am. <sighs> Just be patient. <laughs> patient. I mean, that spooked him. Put the spooks on him, which is good. Yeah, I... I know we're in trouble, lads. It's not a great position to be in. Okay, chaps. Doing it. 
I should not have done it. <sighs> well, there you go, the R3. Alternating between far too cautious and not cautious enough. It's always that fine balance to be found between the paranoid part of your brain that goes, don't go forwards, hang back, wait, wait and see, don't, don't go and do anything. And it's the hyper-aggressive part of your brain that says everyone must die and you will kill them all. I mean, looking at how we died along here, you can see, as soon as these two guys hit, the cave, once the KV-85, in fact, once I started taking damage where this ISU-152 is, I should have known that there was stuff over on that side, sort of of the river, which hasn't really been spotted or accounted for. And that is going to do a lot of damage to anything and anyone that tries to cross over. I mean, the FE-304 is a notoriously fast-firing SPG. That's going to really wreck your day, no matter how. As soon as it's sort of got its speedy little eye on you, that's it. You're, you're in trouble. <sighs> so, kind of disappointing, but... I've not played in the ice through for a very long time, and even then I haven't had that many sort of games with it under my belt. It would be nice if there was, I suppose, ways of practicing with the tank without having, without sort of, I guess, worrying that you're letting down 15 or 14 other people. 15 people, really, you let yourself down like this ISU-152 is just going to hold out for as long as you can. The Eye Panther to the side. Seals the deal. Oh well, it's a learning experience.